Okay, g'day, it's Tony from Bones Birds. Um, at the moment, my dad and I are building a new set of double aviaries here. These are going to be a, a quarantine station, so um, I'll keep them away from all the other aviaries. So we're just building it in the carport at the moment. Um, it's just going to be mainly so when new birds are coming in, they can be all wormed and mite treated and coccidiosis and everything, so that I can hopefully assure that nothing is coming into my flock. Um, now that I've got quite a few birds, I don't want to risk anything. So, um, anyway, we'll have a bit of a look. Still a long way to go, obviously. We only started it last week. Um, so it's actually down this end. Here's a walkway. Uh, to get in, we pushed it so we can get the car in. But, uh, anyway, so it's a walkway in here. And then each aviary has got a full size door so that it opens right up to as you can see there it opens right up to the um, side of the walkway sort of thing so I can go in there I can go into the aviaries chase the birds in into the walkway so I can catch them and then there will be beside the door here there will be a feeding station like I've done for the rest of them and then this one is exactly the same full size door all the way to open up so I've got to do a concrete slab in that um, we're going to have roofing down so from the top down to there and then it'll be wire from the bottom so we don't have cold drafts in towns where I am in Queensland North Queensland might be like two days a year or something um, and then so we're stepping out so the roofing will go down the sides but the roof sloped as well so the steel sloped uh, about 100 mil so the aries themselves are about 2.4 meters long um, I think it's like 1150 wide with like a 700 mil walkway at the back and then we've just got a slight slope at the front here as well just so if any leaves sit up there hopefully they'll blow off or easy to get off um, and then it'll be a full wire front. So we're getting there slowly. Anyway guys, thanks for looking. Um, hopefully this gives you a bit of a size reference to what it actually is. Uh, so I'm, I'm like about six foot anyway, so just under. So it's not a bad height, because they're only going to be in there for a month or so as they're being treated, depending on how they look by the end of the treatment. Um, and then they'll move in either into the breeding aviaries or into um, other holding aviaries. Anyway, thank you.